Still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the Name. And in this video, I want to talk to you about finding your calling, okay? So Jeff Bezos said that uh, you can get a job or you can have a career or you can find your calling, okay? And so I feel as though I found my calling, all right? My calling is to help people like me um, transition and get to uh, a safer, better place, um, financially, mentally, emotionally, uh, family-wise, personally, all of those things. And by doing that, um, I feel like I have, I have a certain purpose that helps drive me, all right? And let me explain when I say people like me. I don't mean black people. I don't mean that, all right? But, you know, I, I am black. But I mean people who come from a mentality that I came from. I, I grew up in Florida and I'm from the hood, you know, I am from the hood, I call the bus in the projects, you know, all that, surrounded by the projects, all that. So um, I grew up with a certain mentality and we kind of went against what society wanted us to do. That was kind of the only thing that we knew was to live a certain kind of way. And it shaped a certain mentality that it took me many, took me many, many years to unravel and to uh, get to the point where I am now. So there, there's a misunderstanding between, say, corporate America or society and people who come from the mentality that I come from. And I'm able to, to see the difference and I can see why it's so different or why um, people don't understand it or think that it's a certain kind of way, which, I mean, it is what it is. But I have been trying to help my people transition. And so I realized that that was my calling. So I'm looking for opportunities in business to, uh, to better enable them to transition. And I don't know how many people I'm going to be able to help with what I'm trying to do. But I'm definitely, that is the driving force for me looking for opportunities, though. So it's giving me a purpose, you know, and it's greater than anything that I could have gotten. I, I could have got from a job or even from my career in accounting. I had a great career in accounting, um, but it wasn't fulfilling me. And what's crazy is me following my calling makes getting rich easier. Getting rich is apparently pretty easy. I mean, I kind of always knew that, but. Um, definitely when you're walking in your purpose, it's, it becomes a lot easier. Um, and I'm trying to constantly remember where I was. Like, say if I'm dealing with somebody and I'm having an issue with them understanding um, the transition to, to being in society, I have to put myself back where they were to understand how they're processed and how they're seeing things. And in order for me to do that, I had to still come from that, right? Because it's 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 almost impossible for somebody who didn't come from a certain mentality or walk of life to understand each other. If you didn't come from the rich neighborhoods, then maybe you won't understand what those people think like or and if you didn't come from the poor environments maybe you don't understand how those people think i have had the unique opportunity to have started at the bottom on one side and now i've transitioned and i'm a ceo now <laughs> you know so yeah, i've had a lot of work that ha that i had to personally put in a lot of understanding a lot of reprogramming but i still have um, I still understand or I still know what that is, but that is my calling. And in doing so, it's making me rich because I'm seeking out opportunities to help my people. And so as I get these opportunities to help my people, things that I would not normally be interested or, or, or trying to do because 
I was only living for self before. Now that I'm living for other people, it's causing me to open myself up to more opportunities. And those opportunities, even if it's a small profit for me, having so many different opportunities for them is causing me to also get rich. But there you go. You know, help other people and you in turn help yourself. Yeah. Anyway, right now you're watching Casino is the Name. If you find any value in any of these videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We out. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the Name. And if you wanted to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot Hot Shot Volume 1 on your trucking authority. It's a great book, five star reviews. The link will be in the description below. Go get that. Yeah. Beat me up, Scott. Beat me up, Scott. Me and her together, we just count it up Money on my mind, I can't get enough Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street When she first saw me, she said, who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat I'm the one that really did, what a rap They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped Say you want to be successful, but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I caught the bus at Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.